Hello Cranex, welcome to part two of a three-part series on crane load charts. This one is on mobile crane load charts. The first one was on tower cranes. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to read and how to look at and make your way around mobile crane load charts. They're a little bit different to, to tower cranes. There's a little bit more involved. Uh, one difference is on mobile cranes, you get different size hook blocks. So once you've got the, um, uh, the figure on the chart, you have to deduct the weight of the hook because all the hooks are different. This is without uh, all the lifting accessories, but we'll get more. We'll touch more on that later. So I'm going to take you out of the cab, and I'm going to take you into my kitchen to do a screen recording. I'm going to show you some diagrams and some um, some charts on on my computer. Not that good yet, so so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but before I do that, I want to thank you all because I'm at. 500 subscribers. I've been doing this for nine months now. I'm at 500 subscribers. So thank you so much for, for all your support. It really does mean a lot because a lot of work goes into these videos. I mean, editing, I do everything myself. So editing takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And you can imagine a full-time job. I don't know if you know the crane industry, but you can do some really unsocial hours. Some long hours, six, seven day weekend, uh, six, seven day weeks. Um, so on top of that, and then also the website stuff as well. So it's a lot of work. And I'm not a professional, but I do my best. So thank you so much. Um, I'd like to say when I reach a 1,000 subscribers, there's going to be a prize. It's going to be a five-star all-inclusive holiday to Barbados for the 1,000 subscriber. <laughs> yeah, get out of it. Now, I don't know what it's going to be yet. I haven't made my mind up yet, but there will be a prize for the 1,000th subscriber. All you'll need to do is let me know when you're the 1,000th subscriber because I don't get notifications for everybody because some people have their subscribing subscriptions as private. Uh, so watch your space for the future. So let's get back to the video. Let's head over to my kitchen now. Okay, so here's our first image. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, first of all, it's moving out of the way a little bit. So, on mobile cranes, they're telescopic. So you've got the boom. They, the the boom comes out in sections. So they get locked out in sections. You'll see the sections here. So you've got eleven point five meters, fifteen point two. But you've got your increments here as well. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. It says it. So you got these. So these are your arc sections here. Uh, basically, these are, these lines are your natural arcs of the of the boom. So it, it it's like a derrick, it's like a derrick crane. So it goes down, and that's a natural arc. Um, the, this the maximum. So you've got your radius at the bottom, and you've got your height goes along the top. So this one is sixty meters long, as you can see there, but you've only got fifty eight meters there. But because what it is, you've got the hang down. You, it, you you won't get the full length of the jib because you've got what the um you've got the hang down of the hook so as i say these are the are where the boom gets locked into position at each length so we've highlighted some areas here for you let's give you a scenario let's say you've got 33.8 meters of boom out as as shown here in green that that's what all these gray areas are here so it shows you what section how much section you've got out what length there is so 11.5 15.2 22.6 which is equivalent to the same what's on the side here uh, so let's say you've got 33.8 meters of boom out and let's say a slinger whoever crane supervisor ap says to you hey jim what can you lift at 28 meter radius so you have a look at what you're at there. You've got 33.8 on, so you go down to 28 meter radius and you go up to the line, 33.8 meter line there, and you know you can lift 7.6 ton as shown here. That's, that's at 16 meter height. You'll notice as you get higher on the jib, you can lift more. These figures here, so they start off low and then they get higher as the jib goes up. It's, that's, that's just basic physics. If you hold your arm out straight, straight as you can out in front of you, and you have a weight on it, you can lift less there than you could if your arm was up in the air like that. 
so that's that that's one drawing let's have a look at a different one now let's get out of that go into there zoom into this a little bit so you've got a different style here now so at the top here you've got your little symbols first one there you've got your boom length you've got your outriggers your outriggers are out these are your legs you should know if you're crane operators these are your legs that support you you've got your, your crane lift quadrant 360 degrees there you've got your counterweight 29.29 ton on this particular crane um, up the top here you've got your boom length readings that's the same as before that was on the side and on the, down here you've got your working radius readings same scenario right you've got 33.8 meter jib out let's say um, someone asks you driver what can you lift at 28 meters what you good at for 28 meters yeah so you go along you go along, down from the top there down to the 28 meter row and you can lift 7.6 ton and it's the same with any of these readings you do the same if you had a 50 if you had a 46.9 meters jib out or boom out i keep saying jib because i'm used to tail cranes it's jib on tail cranes if you've got a 46.9 meters of boom out and it, you want to lift it at 20 meter radius you go down to 46.9 and across from 20 meters zoom in there a little bit 20 meters 46.9 you'll be good for 11.2 ton okay but yeah as i said earlier about um the hook block you have different size hook blocks don't you so here's your here's a hook block chart so you've got different sizes there 250 460 700 that's how much they can lift there's the falls of rope go back to other let's go back to other one where are we let's say you've got half a ton hook block on so you can't lift a load then now it's at the 7.6 ton you can only lift a load that 7.1 ton in this scenario here of what we circled what we've highlighted yeah so you've got to take off 500 kilos but it goes further you've got your lifting accessory you've got your chains you've got slings let's say you've got a lifting beam on um and you've got chain, heavy chains on and you've, you've got all your shackles and all the rest of it let's say all that goes to 100 meters 100 meters 100 kilos so you've got 500 kilos you've got another 100 kilos you've got 600 kilos that takes it down to seven ton so that means that you can only lift the load that is at seven ton or less at, in that configuration yeah that's it there's a little bit of maths involved not too bad at maths i wasn't great at school i was in set two that's not too bad set two but um i was all right there's no algebra involved or anything like this but you have got to do a little bit of maths on the spot okay so that's it simple as that really you should know it if you're a crane operator because you should go through this in all your training but in case you forget or in case you're a little bit anxious here's a guide or in case you want to get into it and you're not too sure about it yeah this just gives you a little bit of a head start so that's that as i said don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment ask me any questions in the comments i'm all up for a bit of interaction but also don't forget to watch the next video which is on telehandlers see you soon